hello lovelies coming at you from my car today wanted to reflect on grief uh, and some of the common misconceptions of grief that when we grieve we grieve we move to acceptance uh, that that person that thing that change um, what has been before is no longer part of our life and our grieving process is over and that's simply not true we also believe and worry that if we allow ourselves to grieve and feel all of the feelings related to that that we'll get lost in it there is as a result of that a sense of needing to or feeling like we need to push down that grief but the problem is is it doesn't go away the truth is we need to feel all of our feelings in relation to it however it shows up for us and there's no right or wrong way to grieve and when we do slowly our life starts to grow around that grief but it doesn't really go away. Um, so this year I turned 37 and it is the year that resembles that I have lived more of my life without my parents than with my parents. Um, and I knew at some point uh, throughout the year that this fact, this experience, that grief, would come back and hit me in the face. And do you know what, with grief, it isn't always the common things that we think are gonna trigger us or affect us. I'm not particularly affected by dates, by birthdays, um, by death dates. Um, it's usually other experiences or things that I'm not necessarily expecting are gonna affect me been a busy old week um, and the thing is with busyness is it often stops us from recognizing what we need to move through and what we need to process um, and I have found some stillness this morning last night and this morning and I tell you what on the way to my yoga class this morning I cried and I speak to my mom and dad actually out loud uh, <laughs> some of you might think that's weird uh, but it really helps me and today I really released something I released a part of my current grieving process and when we experience significant grief and loss parents, friends, um, other family members, children um, yeah, it hits us at various times within our life and I'm really sorry to say that there is never an end to grieving but it does get easier and you do move through it and I feel better as a result of having that emotional release this morning. The thing is grief is more than the loss of a person, it's a loss of a life lived before, it's a loss of an experience that has been a big part of our life it's change yeah we all grieve all of the time and um, we just don't always allow ourselves to do it tomorrow is mother's day um and sometimes a day well it's a day that's filled with mixed emotions for me um yeah i really miss my mom i really really miss my mom and i'm a mother um, and this is one of the reasons why myself and my associate Elspeth wanted to talk about our own experiences with grief and loss of losing our mum um, and how this has had an impact on our own mothering too. We talk about our relationship with grief and loss um, and we talk about how that has changed as we have processed our own losses and how we communicate with our children about grief and loss in order to change their relationship with it from this early stage. It is a beautiful conversation, it's very heartfelt, it's emotional um, and I think it will resonate with a lot of you. 
And so if you feel like listening to this conversation is gonna be of help to you, send me a message and I will get it to you. Uh, sign up to the link in um, I will I will um, put a little message underneath this video to tell you how you can access it um, and just know that you're not alone we all experience grief and um, you've just got to find your way of moving through it and I absolutely promise you you can still live your life you can still be who you need to be for the other people in your life even though you're grieving and even though this grief hits you in different ways at various points of your life um, and none of us are immune okay to the mums listening to this I hope however you feel tomorrow that you allow yourself to meet yourself where you're at and know that is okay you don't have to feel amazing about it it doesn't have to be magical or it also could be. So, sending you all so much love. Speak soon, lovelies.